All right, all right, y'all. Today we're going to be going over my optimal day video. This is just how to get the most out of your gameplay with Age of Z. Um, some people can't spend all day on their phone. You've got better things to do. So if you just want to log in a couple times a day and still get your daily quest done, um, this video is for you. It'll show you how to do it most efficiently. Um, kind of revolves around that daily quest so I've set up a nice chart you can take a screenshot of this I like to start a daily uh, server reset which is the zero zero uh, log in a couple of times throughout the day and do a couple more quests um, as you get you know further in your progression you don't need to do your biochem you get the girls all healed up and that'll save you some time but at the beginning uh, you do have to go through and heal them five times a day. Uh, so just kind of this guide sets up around that daily quest, going through and starting everything at server reset, doing your ruins, logging back in later to gather and, um, you know, do, do some other things that are required. Um, also your farms, if you're going to be logging in, you don't have to do as much on your farms. Of course, if it's a gather farm, you're just going to log in and send your troops out basically maybe help your allies and donate to the alliance but if it's a power farm you do want to do a couple more things um, including on thursday server reset you do want to do your tower defense even if you're just doing it to get a little bit of td coin for materials um, but yeah the main goal is to complete your daily reward don't be like me on this day and <laughs> have four seconds left and have one point left and you don't get that last chest. Um, it is the best chest, so make sure that you're doing your daily reward, getting all the points. Um, it does add up over time. So I just wanted to record me doing my daily activities on one of my accounts so you can see that I log in after server reset, get my ruins going for my alliance, and just kind of go around my city and do all your daily reward tasks. I like to go in a clockwise direction, um, just start with some things and just keep going around in a big circle, make sure that you hit everything on the list. Um, as you continue through, make sure you're going back and um, you know, doing your second round of ruins, make sure you're hitting your uh, explore on your ruins. Um, it's kind of helpful to have maximum fuel when you start the day that way you can get uh, or at least 30 fuel so that you can get your explore done but you know you're going to be logging in a couple more times throughout the day so don't worry about it um, some other things to note are if you go ahead and do your gather food oil steel mineral before the server reset then you can start your day by recalling and going ahead and finishing those quests Otherwise, uh, you can just do your minimum requirements, send out for 25,000 food and oil, 5,000 steel, and then uh, do those while you're doing your ruins, and maybe some other things. Um, certain days you're going to have more things to do, certain days you're going to have less things to do. Uh, you might have to do like your dinosaurs or kill worms with your teammates, maybe do a drag racing, you know, just the other quests. Um, so each day is a little bit different, but this is just kind of the base of what you're going to be doing. Um, so you can knock out most of this stuff pretty quickly. And remember on Friday after server reset, you'll need to do your tower defense again for the week. So make sure you've been saving up your armaments and go ahead and do that. I've put another video here so you can rewatch me doing my daily stuff another time. Um, sometimes I do it a little differently. Of course, sometimes you've got different quests to do. And a lot of this will depend on your city as well. If you've got five full fleets, then like on a day with worm or dinos, then you can be running your uh, you know, quests with your teammates and do all this during server reset. If you've only got one attack fleet, then it's going to take you a little longer to do all the quests, so you might spend a little bit more time in the game. Of course, you can always come back later and do them with your team. Um, but remember that you don't have to do everything right at server reset. You should be logging in a few times throughout the day, so, you know, don't be afraid to leave something uncompleted. 
and then come back later. Also, there's uh, one of the nights, I think it's usually Monday night, is um, Medici, um, maybe Tuesday night. But uh, when you do Medici's, uh, I guess, layers, I don't know what it's actually called, um, I like to do that one in the last 30 minutes of the day. So I'll log in and use my attack boost and HP boost and then complete the quest. And then since the uh, boost is for an hour, you can log in the next day and do your uh, doom with the same boost. So you kind of get a big two for one, uh, just another way to be efficient. Of course, this does require you to change your schedule up a little bit, but you know you can use one boost for two events, get your uh, Alliance Elite Zombie done, uh, get a better score in your ruins maybe, but just those little things, you know, save you a HP attack boost every week. That can be a lot over time, especially if you're a free player. Um, just you know, this game's all about those little things adding up, so make sure you're doing everything that you can. Um, and a lot of the time you're gonna be doing stuff later in the day, just because maybe if you have an alliance that's, uh, you know, not in the same time zone as you, you might not be able to run your ruins right at server reset, so you know, this is just my guide, but you can adapt it to your day. Um, just kind of know that you don't need to do everything at once, and it's kind of better to not do everything at once. Uh, so, you know, log in, do a couple of things, send out your troops together, come back, you know, do your lines help, do your contributions, kill some more zombies, send some more stuff out, do another quest. That's kind of my favorite part about this game, is it's not something that you need or probably should sit down and play for four hours. This is a phone game, you can whip out your phone, uh, play a little bit at a time, come back later, do a little bit more. I don't know, it's, I like this game because it's a good downtime killer and I have a lot of downtime in my day, so it's kind of nice to just whip out some AOZ and kill some time. Also, don't forget about your farms. I do see a lot of people spending a lot of time in their farms when really they're just gathering farms and they don't need to be spending a lot of time. Um, kind of optimally, you should be sending out your troops maybe twice a day, maybe three times a day if you're being really efficient, but just log in, send them out, and wait you know, eight hours, come back, recall, um, get your resources and then just send them out again. If you've got a fighting farm, maybe you can do a little bit more, but you know, if you've got 20 farms, you don't need to be treating them all like fighting farms. Choose a couple of them, make those your fighting farms. Spend as little time as possible on your farms. You'll get more efficient um, use if you're just sending troops out to gather rather than trying to boost every little stat on your farms. All right, everybody, I think that's it for today. Be safe out there, and remember this is a game, so have fun. And as always, the shameless plug at the end of the video, if you guys wouldn't mind liking the video, sharing it, subscribing, leaving a comment, whatever you can do to help me out. Hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something.